Hey everyone, this is Armando speaking, and in this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to the Pathfinder in Adobe Illustrator. Alright, now I've already drawn a couple of shapes that we can experiment with, but before we do this, we need to open the Pathfinder panel first. So by clicking the Windows tab, we can select Pathfinder. Now at first we have the Divide tool, where I've placed two different colored strokes on top of each other. And when we apply the option Divide to it, you see that all the overlapping parts are divided. So basically, it divides every selected shape that came into contact with each other. The next one is Trim. The Trim tool can cut objects that only overlap each other. Now you see that the shape on the top is intact, while the other shapes got cut. The top one wasn't affected because there's no shape that was overlapping it. The third one is Merge. Now this tool can be confusing at first, because its action doesn't have any effect on these shapes. This happens because the tool can only affect shapes that have the same color. So when I change all the three shapes into the same color, it will work. Now we have crop. This deletes every layer except for the parts that are overlapping each other. Now you might have noticed that whenever I click on this object, it shows another object which is transparent. This is one of those annoying things that can occur whenever you're applying the Pathfinder tools to your object. So in order to get rid of this, we have to select the shape, click the right mouse button, and choose to ungroup. Now that they're separated, we can delete the unwanted shape. Alright, the next one is the outline tool, which has the ability to convert fills into strokes. Then we have the minus button, which deletes every shape which is arranged to the front, along with every shape that is overlapping it. Now if we change this around by right clicking the shape, select the range, choose send to back, and apply minus back to it, and you'll only see that the square is partly intact. And with the unite shape, we can select all these shapes and unite them into one singular shape. Next is the minus shape. When I apply minus on this shape, you'll see that the overlapping shapes will disappear along with the shape that's on the front. The shape in the back is still visible. Intersect. When you're selecting intersect, it will delete every shape except for the overlapping parts of that shape. Now exclude does the exact opposite of intersect because it only deletes the overlap shapes. Okay, now that you know how these tools work, you can see how beneficial they are when it comes down to altering shapes. Now, one thing I'd like to add is that its features only work on fills, not strokes. Alright, now if you have any questions or can't get something to work, uh, then feel free to ask a question in the comment section below, and I'll be there to help you out. Alright, have a good one.